Today we are going to install the torque arm, which is made to help be more safe. <laughs> um, basically it takes the, the pressure off of this. If this nut were to fall off, it would keep this all intact so your wheel wouldn't fly off down the road. Um, because this is such a high torque motor, it's a thousand watts. I decided this is a probably a necessity. Um, I wish I would have installed it when I did the whole video of the install. Um, however, I'm making an update. You should do this as soon as you finish installing the uh, hub motor. If you don't have this and you've already installed this hub motor, you need to get it. It's like 10 bucks. And it's really just these parts right here. You only need these tools. So uh, something to cut the metal from this. This to get the nut off the wheel, the crescent wrench, and then a screwdriver to screw this. So we're gonna go through this whole process. I'm gonna show you how to install this, how it all goes together. All right, so basically we just gotta pull this bolt off um, we're going to just go ahead and start doing this. The lower part of the torque arm, I don't know what this is actually called, but the metal piece that comes in the kit uh, is squared off with rounded at the end, kind of the same shape as the actual arm of the fork, which I think that's standard. Uh, so you want this to go on the, when you're looking at it, if you're doing it on the opposite side of the brakes, um, what this is where I'm installing mine in. To me, this seems like the best spot, uh, but you can do either side. So keep that in mind. It doesn't really matter. It's just how everything lines up. So you don't want to throw your brakes off at all. Um, we're going to take this off, take this bolt off and then put this on and it should replace everything. We're going to put the metal piece for the bottom of the torque arm through this or in this bolt area. This is the other part of the torque arm that you have to bolt this together and then you have a a uh, hose clamp which is this and it goes around so it's really a simple um, process but you can see how these two pieces are connected it's holding on the rim and holding all the pressure up here if that bolt were to ever fall off so you have your your bolt this piece so It'll go this way. Then you have this piece that goes through here and you have that little piece here for the, the hose clamp. And then you take this locking washer and then the bolt. Now there's another piece here. I think that's just in case you need it um, for the clearance because you're basically affecting the brakes by doing this. So we'll have to make sure all that's good too. We are going to unplug this cable so just pull this out there's two arrows on it so when you put it back on you know that but just pull this out kind of wiggle it and then eventually pop out we're going to pull this off um all the way through i think if i can if it'll let me without bending any of those pins yep and then we're gonna loosen this bolt which is this. This is going to be kind of tricky to do though. Okay, got that. Pretty easy. Pull that bolt through. Take that washer. Pull it through. And we're going to put the torque arm that we already have pretty much assembled. Put that there. Take your bolt, put it back there. Make sure you don't cross thread it or anything. Okay. And then we'll have to tighten this. But first we'll go ahead and put the hose clamp on. All right, so all you gotta do is slide this through. As you 
screw this cable together, our steel plate thing, basically like a zip tie, it zips together and gets tighter as you go. So tighten this up. That's what I would do first. As you tighten it, it'll pull pressure off. And I think this is probably gonna be really good. Um, so I'll tighten this up. You actually do have to tighten both of these, um, probably this first, so that when you twist this, that everything stays straight. That's pretty much it. So now it's safe, safer, <laughs> right? Not safe, not safer than what it was. So you got your your uh, hose clamp here. I'll probably tighten it some more uh, once I get outside and mess with it. I don't want to get it too tight because I still got to check and see if the brakes are good. But that's pretty much all you got to do. These two pieces and this hose clamp and that's called a torque arm.